Nelson is now our Olympic. Yeah! He's never, he's never wavered, he's hung in there, injury and no, and I couldn't be more proud. Yeah, I mean, in the same, this was the same in 2016, the same time that you're cheering the most fantastic thing there's just that little bit of I wish grandpa was here and I wish he was here and it is the same again this time um, yeah it's a it's but you know that he's he's watching from they're both they're both watching and my mom too they're all watching from their place uh, in heaven and maybe they're all together doing it so. oh, that's Oh, I'm so happy for you. You work so hard. There's going to be enough. You can see he gave up a lot of room on the board. That's hard to, it's hard to be And then to deliver on that stage. The stage is so hard to deliver on and to see what he's done <clears throat> over and over at this level. Uh, it's just incredible to watch. So incredible sense of pride. Super happy for him. Super happy for my brother who spent a lot of time kind of making sure that the they stay on the rails and keep moving forward. I lost weight for a week. I had a dinner. In the men's high jump. See what we are can do. I got a feeling that's what Tom's going to do. That's just how Ryan is. He was he had a very special bond with his grandfather. And when his grandfather was real sick, um, and he's been sick for a while, uh, Ryan, Larry had part, his granddad had Parkinson's. And so um, writing was extremely difficult, and he was also deaf. So Ryan couldn't talk with him on the phone, and but they had a letter correspondence going back and forth. <laughs> You know, that they just, they never stopped being in touch even though Ryan was in Arkansas and Mitch would send videos of every practice and Grandpa um, at the end was, you know, just watched them by the hour, the same videos over and over and he was, co he was having input clear up until the final days. This is when Mitch was the alternate in 1984. And then over here in gold was Ryan, 2016. And he wrote, worth the wait, and carved out, carved out the Olympic rings and painted them with his Parkinson's.